This is not a comprehensive tutorial about how to use Blender. Just a disclaimer for you there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to go here and import images as planes. If you have not done that in your preferences, enable this plugin, images as planes. So now we're going to zoom down here and find the picture we want and we will Im import that. Import images as planes. There it is. Now we need to switch over to at least material view. And just a note, I've had problems with this in Eevee. So I'm going to switch over and make sure we are in cycles because some of the polygon normals do not seem to be aligned and I cannot get them to fix. So this works in cycles, guaranteed. So here is our flat image on a flat plane. First thing we're going to do is click on the X axis so that we are looking straight at it. We're going to go into edit mode and we're going to start adding in edge loops at any part that we want to cut and bring outwards. So we're going to start here, drag it up and start cutting these where they go. So click and drag over to frame out our windows. Click and drag another to frame out the sides of that one. I'm going to do all of the vertical ones around these windows and then the horizontal. So I'm pulling those sideways as so. And then now the ones that go across horizontally. Putting an extra one there in case I want to push that part in a little bit. And then the bottom edge. I'm going to do the ones horizontally for the ledges that go underneath. And now we want to go in and crisscross cut all of this stuff to where the window frames can be accounted for here and cut out. So we're going to drag up for the top window frame here, and then we're going to drag up for the top window of that window frame that's to the left. And now we'll do the middle ones. And now the underneath that one, and then of course the bottom edge and the bottom edge of the lower one. And we're going to have to do that one. We're going to undo that one because I accidentally need to do this from the underside. And that can't be there. I've got to go from in between right here and bring that up just to where it's touching the top of that frame. So I believe all of our cutouts are done except for this middle section here. Okay, I figured that out. Now we need to make sure that we have all of our middle window frames cut and all of our inside frames on the sides going up and down cut and there is a little parallax in this image you can see the window frame to the left there is a little bit narrow that's okay we'll just cut it a little bit close like that and then this one's a little bit wide so we can cut that one just a little bit wide, not a big deal, we'll average that out. So that should be everything cut out, including the interior window frames. Now we have this little triangle piece that obviously sticks out up there and you want to use the knife tool and we can just go through here and cut out a nice triangle approximating its shape, press enter, and that is good to go. Now you can see that when I turn, we still have a flat image with all these crisscross cuts in it. So what we wanna do is select in polygon mode here. While you're in edit mode, you select polygons. And we want to select the polygons that are going to, I'm gonna go ahead and go into cycles mode. We want to select the polygons that are going to be the parts that we're gonna pull out. So select everything you wanna pull out, like we'll start with this top beam and go to extrude region and just pull it out as far as it needs to be pulled out. I say about there. And when we look, it's now a three-dimensional pulled out part. And you do this to all the parts you want. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and pull out these under the ledges that are underneath the windows. By clicking on everything you can, just marquee select these if you like as well. Might make it go a little bit faster. Just make sure you don't get anything you don't want. And then, of course, we go to extrude region. Turn to an angle so we can see better and pull those out as far as they need to go. 
Now there will be stretching on the texture right here, but I'll show you how to fix that in a little bit. Now we select all of the stuff inside each window frame, including the glass pieces. So we just marquee select all of those polygons as well as we can and do that on every window. And then now we push that in, making sure we're still recording. Okay, and now we push that in as far as the window frame will be. And now we go back and select only the glass panes. This side you can see has a long pane, so don't get confused and leave that center section out. That needs to be the whole thing. We select these. One, two, three. And these guys. One, two, three. And now we push those in just a little bit beyond the window frame so that they have a little dimension to them also. Those will be getting treated separately here in a second. So there is all of our three-dimensional stuff except for this little guy up here. We forgot about him. So we're going to do something fun with him. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out as far as we need to, about like so. And now that we have that selected, I'm just going to click over here to edge mode and select these straight out edges as well. And now we're going to bevel those by pulling out the bevel tool and it'll bevel those corners too. And I say we give it two segments. That's probably enough. Three is fine. And you can see now it's got a nice rounded, more realistic shape. Now you can see that some of these edges are a little bit crispy. They're a little bit too hard. So I'm going to go and select Alt and click across that whole edge. Alt, select that whole edge. Um, got to shift Alt to get all of it. And then now we're going to go ahead and bevel those down just a little bit. I'm going to add at least like those two. And now we'll get a nice edge to that that light can hit and make look better. So we're going to go ahead and select these edges as well all the way around the window frame. So we have to shift select to get more than just that one edge and that should be fine. There we'll save. Let's go ahead and do these. Why not? Get the whole thing and we'll go ahead and do the uprights and the bottom edges while we're at it. You gotta make sure you turn and get the other side because there's one missing right there. So we're gonna get all of the window edges all at once. So you just wanna keep holding down shift and keep getting those edges. Alt and shift will complete a selection through throughout a, a, a row of edges, if that makes sense. Make sure you don't have anything you don't want selected. Make sure you don't have anything selected that you don't want. And shift. And there we go. Now we can bevel all these windows at the same time using a bevel tool here. And we just pull out slightly just to round that edge off we're going to go ahead and give that two segments so now we have our windows and our edge of our roof and this little guy popped out uh, if we want to we can go through and correct some of this stuff here there is no texture to any of these polygons the texture underneath here has been stretched if you uh, can see here, it's just been stretched when we pulled it out. So to fix that, we just turn the lights off. No, I'm kidding. We're, to fix that, we need to go into our UV and select the polygons and fix them. I will show you that now. So basically, anything that looks stretched, which is going to be right up to our bevel, we're going to select those polygons by going into polygon mode and just clicking on every single one of these that looks wrong. That should be fine up to this point. Now there are quicker ways to select these, but this is a good way to visually show you 
what is involved here. I'm going to flip around and make sure we have all the ones on the side. I don't want to make any, any mistakes by rushing through this. It's one of the reasons why I am not doing it the other way. So, got these guys. They try to hide. Possibly might speed all this part up for the tutorial after we're done recording it. Okay, all of those are selected. So now we need to go into our UV editing tab. Now on this side we have our UV view. This is just the texture. You will see the polygons once they are mapped. On this side, of course, we have our object and our selected polygons. Now what we want to do is to unwrap those using cube projection. We click it, they all show up over here. We want to drag these into a place. I mark you select them, move them, and drag them into a place that has the proper texture we want to use on them. And this is fine. And if you notice when I change this back to object mode and back to where we can see the material view, they should be correct. You can see that right here that now there is no stretching in the tops of these. If you want this texture to be finer, we will just click back on there and it's just a matter of making these pieces larger and you can see the texture move as I move these along the texture. Now if you want greater resolution just enlarge the size of those blocks and your texture will increase and that will allow you to increase the resolution of the texture on that area. Now if you want to you can copy and paste this to make a larger piece, save it off. You can also add texture to this top edge by going into edit mode again, selecting all of these polygons along this area, along this area, and adding texture to them by moving them around in the UV editor. I would have marquee selected this, but I forgot. No, I would have marquee selected this, but I would have missed the beveled edge and I might as well just do it all at the same time. Okay, so now that that is selected, we can go into our UV space. Once again, UV, do this as cube projection. We now have a section of it here. Marquee select it and move it up to the area you want it to have the same texture of, and you can increase the size to increase the resolution and then it will have now a nice brand new texture on it. Go back into layout. We can add a little, we can add a plane and move it down to give it a little bit of grounded, to give it a bit of a grounded look scale that up a bit and if you wanted to of course we could duplicate this shift D click and move it over and extend the length of the wall or select both of them shift D left click and move both of those up and now we have an entire building alright very simple technique to show you how to build things based on an image.